know, walking around, maybe ladies in our high heels, or it doesn't matter. We get we get tension in our body, we get these adhesion, we have these knots, and maybe we can't book a massage. You know, we just don't have time. So you can take care of this yourself. I recommend doing this daily. I should probably listen to my own advice because I don't. Um, do it daily, but I should be doing this daily. I'm about to cry when I get on this thing. But we start, if I had a small, we, they also make little small balls. You don't need a special specific ball foam roller. Let me just throw that out there. If you have a tennis ball, any type of sports ball that you can step on to roll out your foot, that's so beneficial. But this foam roller, it's not really for that. I mean, I guess I could put a lot of pressure and kind of roll out my foot, but honestly, you kind of need that little small tennis ball. But for this foam roller, it's just a little half size foam roller. They do make the full size ones. This is the one I have, so this is the one we're gonna work with. So we are gonna start with our calves. What I want you to do is place it underneath one of your calves, cross the other leg on top, and you're gonna just lift up. I can already feel it. So you're gonna feel intense pressure in the back of your legs, especially if you're tight like me. Um, I just hiked a mountain yesterday and I train like a beast. And I do have a job, a full-time job that is manual labor. So I'm definitely feeling this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna feel, I'm feeling it in the really bad right here. So I have a big knot, a big adhesion that you're gonna, it might make you sweat a little bit, you might shake. Try to really breathe into that adhesion, that muscle and sit on it. Even though it hurts, maybe drop your butt down, put as much pressure as you can. You don't have to keep your butt lifted. If it's too much pressure on your wrists, I get it, I understand. But you can drop your butt down and just kind of I don't even need to lift up. I can just feel it, it hurts. And then, when you breathe into it, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. It'll release and then you can roll up and down your calf. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it still hurts. So it's recommended to at least spend 45 seconds on, my voice is shaking, I'm not going to cry, I promise, it just, it is intense, and I'm unedited and I'm real. So I'm letting you know that you are going to feel, if your calves are tight, you're going to feel this and it's going to be some pressure there. Try to relax your foot. Try to breathe into it, relax the calf muscle. Ah, roll back and forth. Roll back and forth on that knot, those adhesions. Oh, beautiful. For time's sake, I'm, I'm probably, after this video, going to go and do this all over again. Because, like I said, my calves, forget about it. They're just super tight. This one not as bad as the left. So this is my right calf. For some reason I am right-handed, but my left calf seems to be a little worse. So, but I found a knot, baby. I found one. I'm going to pause and I'm going to breathe into it. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's a big adhesion there. And I'm putting a lot of pressure on it. It might not look it to you, but I'm pressing down on my left with my left leg that's on top of my right right now, and it's opposite because, you know, the camera makes things opposite, so it looks like I'm, I don't know my left from my right, but my body, um, it, it does, it's a lot of pressure there, so just breathe into it, and breathe out, deep breaths in, and out, and then, Maybe, just maybe I'm able to roll up a little higher. Yes, and roll back. It's a beautiful thing when you feel it kind of just release. 
I can't explain it. You, you're going to have to do it. <laughs> oh, that feels amazing. Ten more seconds. It's really tight on all of us our IT bands okay so how do we do that never put the foam roller on your knee okay so have it just above that knee don't ever put it on the knee joint and when I oh gosh I'm laughing because it already hurts so I have it just above the knee I'm gonna drop the other leg in front so I have leverage to move up, down and up my leg. And you're just gonna move up and down the side of your leg. And right here, I found a spot, obviously. You can hear it in my voice that I found a spot. And then I'm just gonna breathe and simply let it release. And go back and forth, back and forth. So, you know, I could have gotten all my knots out before I shot this, but I want to be real, as real as I can be, and human. And it, this is not comfortable, <laughs> but it's necessary, okay, to take, it's self-care necessary to get these knots out. You can't get to a deep tissue massage, well, do it yourself, right? That is what myofascial release is. Beautiful. See, now that already feels good. I'm so happy I'm doing this right now. Get on the other side. I'm just switching legs here. Again, remember, don't put it on your knee, above it rolling up and down that side leg. Oh, gosh. Fine. See, this one's not as bad. That is so funny to me. That my right leg, because I'm right-handed, I'm dominant on my right side, and my left side is more messed up than my right today. We're human beings. So oh, it's bound to happen. See, I can roll up and down this baby. If you're really feeling good, both legs can be straight. Ooh, maybe I jinx myself because right now I can, that's painful. It is pain. Honestly, I'm just being honest. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world to foam roll, but it's necessary. I have to get these knots out, guys. you're going to feel so darn good when you're done and then you can get hop on this foam roller again and be like, oh, it's not as painful as it was yesterday. It's not as painful as it was the day before. You're catching me on a bad day. Today I'm a little tight. <laughs> good. Another spot, actually, since we're in this position, I might as well just go to the quads. So again, above the knees on your elbows to above the kneecaps and up the front of your legs. Right there. Wow. Oh yeah. Okay, we'll do the front of the body. We'll do the front. I was going to move to the piriformis, but we'll get to that. This is... Yeah, we're all quad dominant, by the way. People think they're special because they're quad dominant. We're all, every single person is quad dominant. I don't know one person that uses their glutes more than their quads. I don't, I could be wrong. And you can certainly message me and tell me I'm wrong. And well, we're pretty much quad dominant creatures. So, oh yeah, that feels beautiful. Up and down, just with this foam roller. Breathing into the painful parts. 
about 10 more seconds. Just breathe and listen to the, the, gong, the bowls I have on right now. I love gong therapy if you've ever been, where they play the bowls and the crystals. And it's a beautiful meditation. I digress, okay. Nice. So since we're in this position, we might as well get into a hip flexor. So where's your hip flexor? Right here. We're gonna put the edge of this foam roller right into our hip flexor, okay? You will feel this, trust me. The other leg is, is what I call my froggy leg. It's gonna come out like a frog. I'm gonna bend the other leg. And this leg, the hip flexor that we're doing is gonna be straight. So I'm gonna put the edge of this foam roller on my hip flexor. You can even do this with a ball, the same ball that I talk, spoke about earlier, um, rolling at your foot. You can use even, I've seen people use a medicine ball for this as well. Man, it's gotta really dig into your hip flexor, but everybody's hip flexor gets tight. Because again, your hip flexor, what's it connected to? Your quad. It's all intertwined and connected. The human body is very interesting. I'm gonna move this over so I can get more on the edge of it and get a little, press a little bit deeper into my hip flexor. I'm gonna rest my head down and just go up and down, just a little baby. Oh yeah, right there. When you find a spot, what did I say? Breathe in, breathe out. And just let it release and then roll up and down and it will release and it will feel better and you'll just be amazed at how much better you will feel. This is gonna increase your workouts. It's gonna make you more productive. It's gonna give you better flexibility, um, strength, mobility, just like anything else, so. Self-care, other side, right into your hip flexor on the edge of the foam roller. Oh my knees. You know, this hip flexor, this is how messed up my body is. So I've been saying this whole time, my right side has seemed to be a little less tight than my left. But this right hip flexor is a lot tighter than my left. So our bodies are just weird. <laughs> it's okay. I guess it's normal. Roll up, roll down. Melt right into the foam roller. Press a little deeper. It's not going to hurt you. Unless told by a physician that you're not supposed to do this. It won't hurt you. Good. Okay, we're in this position. So, the leg that's bent on the other side. We're going to do our inner thigh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I call it my froggy leg because it's bent. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yep, that's tight. So we're gonna roll out and in, just little baby motions on your inner thigh, and baby, I am sore here. Mm -hmm. I've been doing a lot of bar, a lot of inner thigh work, so it makes sense that I would be sore here. Back. I'm just gonna breathe, breathe into it, relax, sweat a little bit, shake a little bit, and know that I'm gonna feel so darn good when I get these kinks out. <laughs> yeah, it feels amazing already. It feels, if you're doing this with me, how good does it feel? Be honest, amazing. Oh yeah, right there. And then 
I'm just gonna go right into my other side. Straighten out this leg, bend this one out like a frog, and then get into my inner thigh, and we'll see which inner thigh is worse. See, it's my left. So my right side isn't as bad. The body is strange, but it's definitely sore in a spot. So I found a spot, I'm gonna breathe into it, and roll back and forth, and listen to the gongs of the bowls. King Kong. So good, so relaxing. Almost in a meditative state here. It's releasing my muscles. A few more seconds on this side, okay? Enjoy. Beautiful. All right, let's get that piriformis. So I'm gonna do, it doesn't matter which cheek you start with, just to show you the form. We're gonna sit on this baby and cross one knee over the other. And you're gonna make like a half moon shape on that cheek. So I'm gonna come down with the knee and roll back. Oh yeah, it's like your little glute, your piriformis muscle. <laughs> Where else are you gonna get this, guys? It's so professional. No, but I'm doing this with you. I know what it feels like. It is a little bit uncomfortable, but it's necessary. And like I said, I've been bad. I haven't been doing this like I'm supposed to. Practice what you preach. Well, I have been practicing home ruling. And wow, that's nice. I just released. And I know the more I do it, the better I'll feel. So I just have to carve that time. Yeah, you can tra train crazy, crazy psycho training, but you need to take care of your body as well. Like rest it, like on a rest day. Oh no. Sorry. After a workout, before a workout, people are like, well, when do I do it? Both. Whenever you have time to home roll, fill it, fit it in. How many times a day? 20, I don't know. How many time do you have? It's, it's good for you. Circulation. Other cheek. Press that leg. Really kind of lean into that cheek. So I'm kind of leaning this way. Mm hmm. And I'm going to go back. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Breathe. I mean, this releases my back, your piriformis, everything's. So it's gonna feel nice in your lower back. Never put the foam roller in your lumbar, your lower spine. Never place it there just in case, God forbid. You have like a herniated disc there. A lot of people have disc issues in their lower spine. Thoracic spine is a different. Can't wait to get to that one, that's my favorite. I'm jumping ahead though. Enjoy where you are right now. It's beautiful. A few more seconds. I'm really enjoying this side. Other side. Okay. Good. Well, we're here, so might as well hit the hammies. You can do one leg at a time. Whew, yeah. Press a lot of pressure down on the back of your leg just above the back of your knee, all the way up to the tush, almost, your hamstring, okay? You can do single leg rolls, or you can do both of them at the same time. I find that if I do a single leg, I, get, I can get more pressure on the back of my leg. <laughs> right now, I don't 
don't know if I necessarily need that much pressure because they're pretty tight. My legs are pretty tight today. Let me just, let's just give it to you straight. My body is, it needs this, which is why I thought, hey, maybe I should do a foam rolling session. Oh, just relax. This is enough for me, which is on a good day, I can do a single leg and no problem. Today, because I'm so tight, double leg is fine by me. Getting yourself a massage, not a bad thing, is it? Not a bad deal. Okay.
Put your hands behind your ears and roll up, 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 and all the way up into your shoulder blades. And you might have a little crack of lacking happening. Like right there. I don't know if you heard that, but pretty loud pop. Wherever your hands are comfortable. Don't roll up into your neck. Push your shoulder blades. Not your neck. Oh, yeah. See why this is my favorite? Save the best for last. I wonder if I'm going to try one more thing after this, which is my other favorite thing, but I usually use a long foam roller. So if you have a long foam roller, it will work for you. A short foam roller, I'm not sure, will do the job. Yeah, I could stay here all day too. <laughs> Did I just read your mind? Find any spots that really hurt. There's a couple bump. Whoa, that's a big bump, a big adhesion. I really need a massage. Oh wow, that's a, like a bloop bloop. Big bump right here. I'm gonna breathe into it. Okay, I'm mad at myself. I'm gonna hold myself accountable right here, right now on camera. I have to do this at least once a day for a while because feeling all these knots in my body kind of makes me sad. I should not have all these. Oh. That was crazy. And they're not gone. They're not completely gone. But if I do this enough, I know that eventually, I can work them out on my own. That already feels better. See, that already feels better. Before when I got on here, it was like a little, little big knot in my back. Okay. The other thing, if you have a long foam roller, it's better to do on a long foam roller because you can place it long ways and kind of put it in the center of your back so you're laying on it long ways oh yeah okay so you can kind of do it kind of with a short foam roller and let your body mold so your your shoulders are dropping your chest is opening and you're just molding around your foam roller you're melting into your foam roller what i don't like about this short foam roller is i don't have support on my lumbar I could possibly get up and get a yoga block, but I'm just gonna keep my knees bent right now. But if you have a long foam roller, it will come to your, all the way down here to your rear end. So your whole spine would be supported and you can just mold into the foam roller and rock side to side. I don't think I would suggest doing it on a short one like I have now. I just wanted to show you as an example what you can do. Oh, that feels so good. It does feel good, but you're not supported here. All right, friends. Breath. Bring your hands to your heart. 